I feel a, a really deep connection to the islands and going there and a connection to the people, to the land. I feel like I've really kind of tried to translate that into the backyard space, creating something that is certainly reminiscent of Hawaii, uh, certainly a place that you can enjoy a tiki drink or a cocktail. But it's all about the mood and less about the label. This house is this evolving thing that continues to just develop and change and uh, a lot of times I think of it as kind of like my own little Disneyland because it's not meant to be how it was or how it is. It's like it's just going to continue to be what I want it to be. Um, so thinking back to the backyard, there were some dryscaping beds along the sides of the yard that had grasses and some cacti. Um, and then back here in the corner was a concrete slab uh, where we are right now and that was where the previous owners were going to put in a hot tub. Um, I had covered that up with like a plastic flooring, some outdoor furniture, a fireplace, and I treated that as just kind of like a little outdoor living room and a space that we could hang out outdoors. But as you know the summer here is like so crazy hot it wasn't really somewhere that we were utilizing. Um, 109 degrees, you're not sitting out in the open sun back here in the corner. So that kind of had me thinking, I want to do something more, I want to do something different, which is kind of what has, has occurred now. Tiki culture, really, I, I feel like it's, it's something that's fun that you can latch on to that certainly goes with the times. It's heyday being 1940s into the 60s and even into the 70s a little um, and it kind of died off and now we're, we're seeing this resurgence of it and I think a lot of that resurgence does come from that same revival of mid-century modern design. Um, all of those things, all of those styles have come back and cocktails are certainly a part of that culture. Uh, I think Mad Men certainly brought some of that back in the early 2000s, drinking and working and drinking was part of your lifestyle. There's just an element of fun to it. Uh, so as far as the specific uh, bit of tiki aesthetic, for me it's, it's not so much about the kitsch of it all, um, it's more about the connection to real culture um, and my experiences in traveling to Hawaii. I, I feel a uh, a really deep connection to the islands and going there and a connection to the people, to the land. And I feel like I've really kind of tried to translate that into the backyard space, creating something that is certainly reminiscent of Hawaii, uh, certainly a place that you can enjoy a tiki drink or a cocktail, but it's all about the mood and less about the label. As I've mentioned, the, the travels to Hawaii have been very influential for me. Going there is certainly an escape and a connection every time I go, whether it's making friends or having experiences, seeing nature. It's just been very impactful on just the way that I, I want to be and also the way that I live. So in creating this space, I really wanted to bring as much of those travel experiences here to the backyard. And the big feature of it being is A-frame or hale. That comes from a traditional Hawaiian canoe house and very similar style structure, A-frame with a, a large uh, overhead beam and slatted sides. Uh, this, this whole design comes from that part of history and, and traditional Hawaiian culture. Initial uh, first sight of something like this was in Hawaii. Uh, seeing that hale, but I also picked up a lot of um, vintage Sunset Magazine books um, from the 60s that had all different kinds of ideas for outdoor landscaping and structures, one of them being this amazing A-frame uh, shade structure. So that was a great resource for me to look at a plan 
not exactly like this, but very similar, uh, much, much larger. And just, I, I looked at that and thought, you know, how can I scale this down? How can I make it work for my backyard? And from there, just kind of started doing the research, you know, deck building. Never touched deck building in my life, but reading DIY books, reading articles online, watching tutorial videos, those were great resources for me in kind of figuring out how do, I, how do I do this? How do I even start? There's, there's a wealth of information and resources online. And, and that's a huge part of why I have a blog, is to be a resource for people. And I'm, I'm not necessarily uh, consulting you, giving you construction advice and telling you, this is how you build this, but more my experience, this is what I did to build this. And I, I hope that that kind of gets some gears turning to show people that it is possible. You don't necessarily have to have all the the tools and uh, knowledge to do it, you can teach yourself. And when you need a professional, then you call them in to help you. Commuter Industries is a multidisciplinary design firm. Uh, it's run by myself and my business partner, Glenn Warren. And we offer a pretty broad range of anything design related. Our big focus for most of our years has been graphic design, but we are also interior designers as well and offer all kinds of residential design services such as uh, the interior and exterior of your home. And that ranges from paint color selection, furniture, uh, new kitchen design, uh, everything design related to uh, your home or business is what we do. We give you the tools to uh, hand off to a contractor that can then fully realize your space for you with our design plan. So if you want to reach us, uh, just use the information here on the screen and we'd be delighted to get in touch and talk about your goals, your vision, whether it's for your home, your uh, exterior, your interior, or graphic design, anything design related, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Cheers, mahalo.